titles are not even set, but I want to do this intro. Hi, and thank you for watching. I'm Exo Francesca Fox, and welcome to my channel. I have another makeup look for you guys today. It is on this very smoky eye with a black lid. It's super glam. It takes a little bit of time to do, but I just want to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to achieve a black smoky eye without looking bruised or like a panda. I'm wearing this makeup look in my birthday haul. It's not the usual smoky eye. I still have winged liner and I've tried to make the eye a little bit more almond shaped than your usual like blown out kind of smoke. So it's just a little different and it's just my twist on it. So I'll show you how I achieve it. Let's get started. All I have on right now are my brows. We're going to start with the eyes, which always looks really silly, but it's smart to do, especially when you're going in with a bunch of dark colors and stuff like that, because the fallout will definitely ruin your face makeup. So this is one of those tutorials that's going to look really janky throughout. I'm going to prime my lids with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and NW20. And then I just use my right finger to pounce this onto the eye. Super important to prime your lids. And then don't be afraid to take it out like this. I'm going to set this with MAC Emphasize. This is a pro product, but you can purchase it on maccosmetics.com. Just so you know, you don't have to be a pro. If you don't apply a powder all over on the liquid, then when you go in with your shadows, it can go a little bit like janky, it'll like skip a little bit. But this lays everything flat and it's set. So now you can swoop in with your powders. I'm going in with my Sigma E40 brush. This is a tapered blending brush. I'm going in with MAC Soft Brown. So the bristles are long and they're fluffy so it won't super concentrate like the deposit of color, but it's synthetic hair so this also won't soak up any of the product. So you'll get good color payoff. It'll just be dispersed if that makes any sense. I don't really have like a super pronounced crease, so I like to create my own. If I like look down, I can totally see my crease, but like this, I don't really have one. This step is pretty essential for like any look. I usually do this makeup look on days where my brushes are a little bit dirty. It's definitely brush washing day. There's like saddle on here, maybe some texture, but I'm just going in with more soft brown on this E25 brush. The bristles are lower and denser, so it'll give more of a concentrated application, but it is goat hair. So the amount of product that goes on will be a little less. Just back and forth motions, but it's all right if it gets on the lid because our lid is going to be black today. A lot of times in my makeup looks, I like to concentrate all the crease colors to the outer corner just to uplift the eye. But today, we're going all the way in to all the way out, like that. The entire crease, see? And I like to have my eyes open and closed while I'm blending. It looks kind of weird, but you want to make sure that your makeup looks good both. Now is the fun part. We are going to go in with Carbon on this MAC 242. It is a flat brush with synthetic hair, perfect for packing color on the lid. This is a great brush. I'm just going to take Carbon, which is a matte black, tap off the excess, and we're just going to apply this right to the lid. And we're going to stay pretty low on the lid. It'll go upward as we blend it. So you don't want to initially go in like super black. It'll look like a panda. So just keep it low. <laughs> just like that. Some people really like the rounded out smoky eye, so like they like it to go like a rainbow to make your eyes look really round. And like that's fine if you want that shape, but personally I like a cat eye up here. So I just add a little bit more to this area to uplift the eye. This area right here I'll spend some time blending up and out. This looks so janky. Eyes first, I say. So once you look like this, I'm going to use the E25 and soft brown, and we're just going to smoke all this stuff out and blend it. I have two E25s, so I'm going to use them for different things. I just want to blend all of this carbon, and then I take my other E25 with a little bit of carbon, not too much. 
not too much and use it to blend this area also just to get some smokiness into the crease without putting like black right on it. I can't think of a makeup look with black eyeshadow that will be super fast to do. So make sure that you're ready to spend some time blending if you do a look like this. Some people like to apply like a black base to the eye, like a gel liner or something like that. You can do that. I just think that the smoky color black is beautiful enough on its own. And I like to do liner and lashes and I like to be able to still see that stuff. If you do like a black base, there's no point in doing liner. E40 can help you anytime too. is it. I'm taking this Visanti brush and just applying some nylon under the arch of the brow. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean up this mess right here. Clean up, clean up. I'm going to apply some white in the waterline. This is fascinating by MAC. I'm going to use a Tom Ford eye defining pen and I'm just going to do my wing. Now, liner is done and I have on some Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos, but these are the faux mink ones. I'm going to take the 242 just because this has some carbon still on it and I'm just applying this to the lower outer third of the eye. I don't bring dark colors in. You can totally do dark on your waterline. You can totally bring this all the way to the inner corner. I personally don't. And then with my Morphe E18, I'm taking soft brown. Just like that. Glam, glam. I'm going to do some nylon in the inner corner. It's November 20 something or whatever, and my Christmas tree is up. I'm almost finished shopping. Presents are under the tree and wrapped up. I am ahead of the game this year. I really want the time around Christmas to be just relaxing and lovely and calm. And I don't wanna be all stressed out and weird. <laughs> my hair, I just teased my hair like a long time ago and I just looked in the viewfinder and I kind of look a little crazy. I set my brows with some Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. I think some people need this more than others. I don't really see a huge difference when I do this. Velvet Noir Mascara by Marc Jacobs. So this is the complete look and yeah, I love how it turned out because it is so smoky and so sultry, but I don't think it's like too much. I think that not having a black base on the lid made it like more wearable. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that this is the perfect amount of glam. I don't think it's too much. I think that it is just enough. I love it so much. So applying more black to this outer area and then blending it upwards, I think was a lot more flattering than doing just a blown out circular kind of situation. And I love the black because it wasn't too dark. I could still do my winged liner and everything that I love. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.